just get into a relationship. I've heard this flippant remark often during my life, whenever I'm trying to be responsible, when refraining from taking a step in the wrong direction, a direction I know I can never come back from. I hear, You're overthinking things, human. You're looking for unicorns. No one's going to be perfect. You'll be alone forever. Yeah, okay. Or you hear similar comments designed to make you go against your better judgment like, Even if it doesn't work out, if you get 5 to 10 years out of it, that's still a win. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Everything is impermanent anyway. Let go. They say these things are some kind of twisted Zen justification of theirs. Okay, that's fine, I think, but what about losing the roof over your head and your children as a man afterwards? Give me a feel-good meme to help me sleep after that train wreck, where I knew I should have trusted my reservations beforehand. I mean, how much worse would you feel then? Besides, it's easy for women to say, You're afraid of nothing, you big wimp. Are you scared? Yeah, that's convenient for the woman who really only gains in a separation. They get the guy's material possessions, the kids, she gets the benefits from the government now that she's a single mum, on top of all of that too. And what does a man get? A bumper sticker meme to Look on the bright side. Move on. Stop being so negative. Really? Well, forgive a man for being negative when the only thing he gets is, at least you got your health. Gee, thank you. I'd rather have what she got after the breakup, both materially and psychologically. And look, young men will always get the shame from women and society of, Why aren't you in a relationship? Why won't you get married? Or have kids? As though we should just do it with everyone and anyone. Because women would and do. And that's at the heart of women's comments. They can't understand why we don't just do it because they do. It's because we have consequences that they don't. Consequences for just doing it blindly. That we should somehow conveniently for women stop overthinking things because they know that any ill thought out decision we make, they'll benefit from. That is, being reckless in relationships, whether it's unprotected sex, spending loads of money, moving in, marriage, kids, all of it, benefits women when done with our eyes closed and done impulsively. And because they can and do do this themselves and are bailed out by the state with benefits or the next man dating them as a single mum, they generally have an okay time with burning Rome to the ground and moving on to the next kingdom compared with men, generally speaking. And so women really can't see why a man would be so scared. She thinks from her own point of view. I'm not scared, and I'm a woman. Why are you scared, you wimp? And that comment points to another important reason why, as a man, you should be suspicious for your own safety. The fact that she cannot see you in this scenario, as a person that she should really see if her platitudes of nurturing, caring, loving are to be believed she should be able to see your very real fears. Women's short-sightedness fails to see that any noble man would risk and give for his family. We want to. We like doing it. It fulfills us. It makes us feel good. But that same self-respecting, sensible man, a man who'd make a good husband and father, has the same responsibility for himself before he makes decisions, before her. It's precisely the self-respecting man that women find appealing even if they haven't the intellectual or conscious capacity to realize it, that because he's not a fool for you, that's why he'd be a good man for you and your children. That is, because he's self-protective, he'd also protect you and your potential kids. But honestly, I can't really expect this maturity from a childish female. Society is continually trying to shame men, which works less and less today, by the way, because we've heard it so often over the years that it's become boring and doesn't hurt anymore, really. You can't get laid. Yeah, okay. I barely want to anyway with the quality of women out there, so it doesn't sting me like it did my forefathers a few generations ago. Basically, back in the day, women were a good product that had some kind of socially approved and regulated warranty that kept getting backed up by their constant reliability. But today, she's something extremely unreliable, stressful, and dangerous that keeps breaking down. Yet she's sold to us all as something reliable and safe. Men aren't stupid, you know. 
When, as a guy, most of the men in your life are broke and divorced and telling you to think twice, and even young guys are avoiding commitment despite how horny they are, then I think a man's just being sensible. I mean, if your life is good, why choose something that'll make it objectively worse? There's a saying that comes to mind, don't plant weeds in your garden just so you can pull them. A female once said to me, Human, you can't not get into a car just because there's a chance that you'll get into an accident, or you may, in a rare case, die. Women drive without hesitation. It's pathetic that you men are afraid. And I think, nah, that's a slick analogy, sweetheart. For a woman, I'd agree. It's like driving a safe, modern Volvo below the speed limit on a sunny day while alert and calm as society clears the road ahead of you of any obstructions and makes it safe. But for a man? No, for a man, he's driving drunk on love at night with only one headlight on. And that's only if you're lucky enough to be a self-aware man, intellectually present and philosophically responsible. And even then, in today's society, you have to drive full speed down a freeway without any brakes, while drunk, in love, and with one busted headlight during the night. That's very different from the risk that women take in this driving a car analogy that they slickly use to shame you. Oh, you're so scared. Look at me drive. Lol. Gentlemen, all you have to do to make females realise your point of view if you're ever cornered by these unsympathetic and shaming wretches is tell them, okay, let's flip the risks in relationships around. Imagine men could abuse you openly, in public and in private, without punishment and in fact be applauded for it. And we'd also laugh at you for not womaning up and being able to take our abuse and belittling of you. And we'd have no sympathy for you after we'd abuse you as a further insult. And on top of that, we could take your kids from you if we got bored and just fell out of love to rub salt into the wound. Now tell me, would you be eager to be with men who were that mean and uncaring toward you, who'd break your heart and laugh at you? So, just get into a relationship and don't think about it too much? Yeah, how convenient for you that I stop thinking. No, have your eyes open, gentlemen, so that when a wolf in sheep's clothing presents itself to you, you can see through the disguise. Take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To be notified of my content, hit the bell icon and select all, and follow me on Instagram too. Link and share, comment below, and join my Discord for real-time conversations with me and other subscribers. If you'd like to support me directly, there are donation options below. I really appreciate all of you who do. Thank you.